Cornish hen. Okay? I have one on my uh, channel already, but this is going to be a different one. It's going to be made a different way, okay? So, you got to have your uh, Cornish hens. And what I did with this one, I'm going to, uh, I cut it up. I didn't, I'm not going to uh, cook it whole, okay? And so what I used was, I, I, remember, you got to marinate your meat. It's absolutely imperative so that it, you have that good flavor. So I used uh, garlic powder. I used um, rosemary. This is a rosemary. You can use the fresh rosemary or you can use uh, the powder. This is powdered rosemary. And this is, um, this is smoked paprika, that red stuff you see. That's very good. It's very good on there. And this is uh, Don Saxon chicken seasoning. And you must use uh, lemons. Remember I got lemon tree out back? And so you take the lemons and you rub all over it the lemon juice. You cut the lemon and rub. See, that's what you see here. All right. But the first thing you do before you put any of that on is you put uh, olive oil all over it so the olive oil sticks to the chicken. And then when you put the other ingredients on it, it will, it will coat it. You know, it will, it, will, it will make it stick. You know what I mean? All right. So we're going to take, and so what, what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bake this um, chicken. This is, in, in Mississippi we call them banty hens. This is some little bitty hens, okay, all right? And I'm going to make, with it, I'm going to make a uh, dressing, but with uh, a twist. This is, uh, I'm going to have, I'm going to uh, put in mush, sliced mushrooms and goat cheese in the cornbread dressing and I have a cornbread dressing recipe already on my channel so you, you'll see how to make the cornbread um, dressing okay so right now what we're gonna do is we, we're gonna take and remember at least you let your food marinate for t at least two hours all right so you, you can get all the flavor can can get into the meat okay so we're gonna take this over to the stove and we're going to, I'm going to brown it on um, both sides. And then I'm going to stick it in the oven. And we're going to cook it for a, an hour. Okay, so I'll meet you at the stove. Welcome back. Now you see, I have my hot skillet here with olive oil. And we're going to brown it. Set this on it to make sure that the crust gets brown, nice and brown. We can see we got it on medium heat, and we're gonna do let this brown for about ten minutes. I would say eight to ten minutes, and then we're gonna take it out and we're gonna put it in our dish, and we're gonna put it inside the oven at 350 degrees for one hour. And I'll be back, and I'll show you what it looks like. Welcome back. Now you see, I browned because you you want a you want a, a a crust on your birds, okay? So these are the little Cornish hens. You see them in the market, okay? In many ways that you can cook them, is you don't have to just cook them one way. And this is the second way I'm showing you how to cook them, okay? All right. So. Okay, we got them all. We got we got a crust on them. So we, what we're gonna do next is um, put it in the oven for one hour at 350 degrees. So because you, you want to make sure that they uh, completely uh, cooked. Okay, all right. So there you have it, and we're gonna take it to the oven. Welcome back. Now, you see, we have our finished product, okay? We have the um, stuffing for the Cornish hens. You see the Cornish hens? See how they, um, we used, um, we browned them so that it would have a crust. See the crust? Okay, because we want them to be, we don't. We want them to be nice and, and, and golden brown. Okay, you see that? 
all right? And then we we made the stuffing. This only thing we added from the different from the stuffing is a goat cheese and a mushrooms. Okay? We wanted to cook kick it up a notch. This is the holiday season. Okay? All right. And then we got the um, cranberry sauce, and then we got the cake. Okay? So, you can add whatever you want to, but uh, I'm going to do a taste test, and uh, we're going to um, check out, see the stuffing? All right. We want uh, want to get one of these. And, and if, you, if you have to, you can cut it also, again, across, but I just cut it, split it, you know, you can split it, or, and then you can, you can make uh, four pieces out of one a bird if you want to, or you can um, uh, just c cook it like that, okay? All right, and let me have um, some cranberries right here. Okay, let me have a piece of cake, okay, and then you can have whatever other sides you want with it, okay, all right, so let's taste it, oh, I'm, Smell it, smell it, smell it. Okay, y'all, smell it. Can you smell it? Can you smell it? Smell it. <laughs> Smells delicious. Oh, yes. Yes. Very good. Very good. Very good. The stuffing is different. Oh, I taste. Mm. It's a must try. You must try. Remember, I have a cookbook, Grandma Dodds' Dodds's Mississippi Soul Food, okay? And uh, you can order it, and if you order it, I'll autograph it, and I'll send it uh, by return mail with a free gift from me, okay? And the uh, link is in the description, okay? All right? And I have, and don't forget, I have a, I want some subscribers. I need some more subscribers. You know, my goal is 100,000 subscribers by the first of the year. So we're running short about 27,000. So I'm asking each and every one to tell their family, tell their friends, tell their coworkers, to subscribe at Grandma Dotha's Kitchen. And starting in January, we're gonna be taking more requests. We stopped the requests uh, in November because of the holiday. But and so you can start requesting me for the food that you want me to cook. Uh, and, and, and let me know. And we're, st we're starting our special requests in, back in January, okay? All right? So just only, uh, a week away, so uh, start uh, thinking about what you'd like to see Grandma Dorothy cook, and hit me up and let me know, all right, okay, and remember, I have Grandma Dorothy's uh, kitchen is on Facebook right now, also, I have a Facebook page, I need you to go to my Facebook, I want you to like it, I want you to share it, and I want you to tell others about it, okay, all right, and I have... This book I wrote is called Peace Is. It's a 31-day journal. It's $9.95, and you can also get it uh, uh, when you my, the link and when you it's because it's on eBay also. All right, okay, all right. I'll autograph it and I'll send it back to you by return mail. Okay, and I have this is my autobiography. All right, this is my life story. Okay. So, uh, it's, uh, it's on eBay also, and it's $3 off. The normal price is uh, $17.95, and now it's 
$14.95. Order one, I'll autograph it, and I'll send it back to you by return mail. Okay? All right? And this is a book that I wrote. It's called Prison Break. It's talking about how to break out of your mental prison. Okay? It's on eBay also. If you order one, I will autograph it and I'll send it back to you by return mail. All right? Okay? And also, I have these aprons. Let me show you. It's one size fit all. It's on eBay also. And look, you adjust it. See? See how, how look, at, see the strings? I just love it. And look, it has three pockets in the front. Beautiful. It's, it's, I just love it. Okay, order one also. Give them to your friends. Give them to your relatives. Okay, all right. Thank you. Happy eating to you.